Hello lovelies, welcome back to my cooking channel. Today I am going to demonstrate how to make condensed milk. Let's get started. You are going to be needing only two ingredients and I'm serious, just milk. Two cups of milk and granulated sugar and that's all that you need. So sugar, two thirds cup, two thirds cup of sugar. Add it to the milk and all that you're going to do is to stir in the sugar until it's all dissolved. At this point, I am saying hello to everyone. If today is your first time, you are warmly welcome. Please make sure you subscribe and also share the video with your friends, okay? And tell your friend to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe before you leave, okay? Thank you so much. So now that the sugar has dissolved, we are going to let this simmer on the step for 35 minutes. If you are using a smaller pot, please put a wooden spoon on top of the pot to prevent the milk from boiling over. I've done this over and over again so I know what I'm talking about. That's why I am using a bigger pot today. So it has been simmering for about 20 minutes now and now I am just scooping the foam out. So if you have more foam on your milk, this is how you're going to do it. You scoop it out and you dip your spoon in the cold water until all the foam is gone. So this is how it looks now. Now time is up. It's been 35 minutes. Now, if you stir your milk and it takes a little bit more time before it all drips from your spoon or spatula, you know your milk is ready. So, I am going to turn off the heat. It's ready and I'll put it to the side for it to cool down completely. Sometimes a recipe just calls for a couple of tablespoons of condensed milk. If you don't have it on hand, I've showed you how to do it. Look at how silky and smooth this condensed milk is just like so. It's even better than store-bought. Like the one I used in my three milk bread recipe. I'll leave a link in the description below. So don't forget to check. Now that the milk has cooled down completely, pour it into an airtight container. I am using an upcycle bottle. So the gems that you buy from the store, don't throw the bottles away. You can use them for this particular purpose thank you so much for watching and please tell a friend to tell a friend and you all share and subscribe one more thing you know your milk is right by just looking at the consistency of it if not you should measure it if it is on the one cup mark or just a little below you know you you did it right so thank you for watching i'll see you next time don't forget to share.